what's up my people welcome back to the channel leave a like on this video and also subscribe to the channel click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel and if you can't see the like button click on the x on the right hand side and you're gonna get the option for like the video so as usual my people may have some things i'm gonna share with you guys so i'm gonna just get into it right now an over construction worker charged after alleged shooting at man a 20 year old construction worker has been slapped with several gun related charges following a shooting incident in woodchurch district kingsville Hanover, last month the police say calcito smith otherwise carl devin has been charged with shooting with intent possession of a prohibited weapon and using a firearm to commit a felony smith is from the woodchurch community Reports are that about 8 a.m. on September 15, a man was sitting at a shop when he heard an explosion. He went to investigate and saw Smith pointing a machine at him. He reportedly ran and was chased by Smith, who fired several SHOTS at the man. However, he escaped unarmed. A report was made to the police and Smith was arrested. Smith was charged on Saturday. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section i'm moving along people man shot after allegedly trying to steal a motorcycle from the black river police station hmm. a man who allegedly attempt to steal a motorcycle from the black river police station in saint elizabeth was shot and injured on saturday morning he is now hospitalized under police guard in a statement Sunday, the police said about 3.40 a.m., a police officer conducting a routine patrol of the property saw the man attempting to remove a motorcycle that was being held as an exhibit. The officer approached the man and a confrontation ensued during which the officer SHOT the suspect. Head of the St. Elizabeth Police Division, Acting Superintendent Coleridge Minto, is warning residents not to interfere with lockups exhibits or any other government property at the police station he noted that under his command three persons have been arrested and charged for breaching lockups so that man a brave man i'm go over police station and try to a bike in brave so we are going to move on my people nurse kill in trelawney crash a woman lost her LIFE when the vehicle she was driving collided with a truck along the Rio Bueno main road in Trelawney on Sunday evening. The woman has been identified as Avadan Allen, a specialized nurse of a St. Anne address. Reports are that just after 4 p.m. Allen was traveling in a Toyota Corolla motor car when she reportedly collided with a refrigerated truck she was rushed to hospital where she succumbed to injuries guys wanna be careful on the road you understand take on the time and drive please and thanks and be very very careful drive for you and the next person see so we are gonna move on from that people chinese businessman shot dead in westmoreland robbery Chinese businessman was SHOT and him dropped out and one of his employees SHOT and injured by a assailant who went to rob his establishment in Waterworks, Westmoreland on Sunday afternoon. The identity of the deceased has not yet been released. Crime scene investigators are currently at the scene of the deadly attack. It is not clear if the attackers managed to escape with any cash this is a developing story so as soon as there's an update guys be share it with you so make sure so you subscribe to the channel and click the top bell icon and please give this video a like please and thanks if you don't see the option for like the video click on the x on the right hand side and you're gonna get the option just give me a thumbs up vincent tian man k-i-l-l in saint and crash people on the take time and drive on the road may i ask you know 
please because this man him diva come from jamaica and come at jamaica come lose him two him three points a man from saint vincent and the grenadines was k-i-l-l in a vehicle collision on the duns river main road in ochirio saint Anne on sunday one man has been taken into custody in relation to the incident the deceased is 30 year old desran gold a store attendant who was staying at a mount pleasant district address in saint Anne. according to the police the crash involved a white toyota pro box motor car in which gold was a passenger on a blue toyota rav4 according to police reports around 11 50 a.m both vehicles were traveling towards Ochirios when the RAV4 reportedly drove into the path of the Toyota Pro Box, causing a collision and resulting in several people being injured. Those injured were taken to hospital where Gold was pronounced, you know what. The other injured passengers are said to be in stable condition. The driver of the RAV4 has reportedly been arrested for causing death by dangerous driving people again take time and drive don't upon a ace for reach where you go it best you reach late than you never reach at all so update on leo where she named leoda bradshaw seen so she's still not charged in palwell baby probe police have yet to lay charges against leoda bradshaw the woman name in connection with the disappearance of the 10 month old daughter of veteran politician philip palwell and her mother that's the word from deputy commissioner in charge of the constabulary crime and sick and security portfolio fitz bailey 34 year old bradshaw is the prime suspect in the disappearance of 27 year old tashina Pattison and her daughter saraya powell palwell sorry miss bradshaw and three men were apprehended by the police on thursday following an intelligence-led operation dcp bailey says the matter is being treated as a kidnapping with potential charges of conspiracy to murder on friday dcp bailey said the evidence against bradshaw who is the mother of another of palwell's children was compelling miss pattison and little saraya palwell were last seen at their gilmore drive kingston 20 home on the morning of september 9 the police are seeking to determine whether human remains found in the hills of east kingston are those of the missing mother and child so a voice note a grown on social media right now people may not know if you don't hear it with a female i say it's alleged that leo the bradshaw send philip palwell vehicle if you go pick up miss pattison and her child because earlier on in the morning philip palwell go link pattison and the youth so she send the man we are going to do the damage in the same vehicle where palwell go link her in a go pick her up allegedly you saw me i say and take she and the daughter go you know what i mean go do you know what to them go analyze them right and the man will do the damage you know she want to tie up every loose end she want to make sure it's not no trace back to she so she allegedly i want next man to analyze the man they will do the damage to the daughter and the mother and the man where she iron off to do the damage him go move to the man and corner for the man the man never get corner escape so the man go to the police tell the police everything will go down and i saw them all up on everybody the person i said them don't know where the fourth person come from but the man will do the car the man will analyze the daughter and the mother him in other the, the, the set of people with them with them arrest the girl with name leo leo da bradshaw she in other set of people with them ad, arrest and the man where she last hire fi analyze the man will do the damage you see me i say so i'll know them the charger 
a liar did a talk a way still in you know, a like say them not have no evidence upon her you know what i mean and this woman here it look like say she really cover up her tracks you know so i just her words against the man who do the damage you see me so it look like say them can't find nothing really concrete for charge her with because it's all word of mouth and no evidence no dead if you prove it you see me so people leave your comment in the comment section so we're gonna move on cops pro probe taxi drivers k-i-l-l-i-n-g in saint andrew police are trying to unravel the circumstances behind the fatal s-t-a-b-b-i-n-g of a taxi driver in saint andrew North police division on sunday the deceased 67 year old Derek burke otherwise called bird who is from jacksonton on Mullines road kingston 19 d-i-e-d -E while being treated at hospital our news team understand that around 11 10 a.m residents called the police emergency and reported that burke was stab he reportedly then went into his black nissan la festa motor car and drove off burke police said crashed into a concrete wall at 111 red hills road from there a motorist assisted the now deceased to the kingston public hospital where he died while undergoing treatment police said they have since been trying to decipher what led to burke's stabb ing and find his attacker or attackers got them to know how much person you know what i mean rush him so r.i.p to this taxi man and condolences to his family and uh, anybody know anything where them where the police them can use if you go make an arrest help the police them you see me because if i did your family you would have want somebody for help you know what i mean you can you can private your number and call the police and just give an anonymous tip you see it so let me know what you guys think in the comment section two women k-i-l-l -L, in trilani crash you hear me say people on a take time and drive especially now that a pure rain a fall on the road slippery two women died from injuries sustained in a two vehicle collision along the Braco main road in trelawney on sunday they have been identified as 29 year old doan allen of steertown saint anne and 53 year old sharon Ackett of linstead saint catherine the police report that around 5 p.m Allen was driving her Toyota Altis motor car heading toward Falmouth when it reportedly got out of control and crashed into a Mitsubishi Kanta, which was heading in the opposite direction. The injured women were taken to the Falmouth hospital where they were pronounced, you know what? The Falmouth police are continuing to continuing investigations. So people who don't take time and drive, especially an unfamiliar road you understand me i say take time and drive i want to know how jamaica roads them stay them full of pure patrol you understand so you cannot swing out of a patrol and swing in at somebody you see me so on the take time and drive people if you're the yes take your time same way you better you reach late than you don't reach none at all you understand if you have far ago leave all from early so we are going to move on people to over in a westmoreland businessman shot and him drop out during alleged armed robbery in westmoreland so at the same thing let me share with you guys seeing so this are kind of an update right a chinese businessman was reportedly shot and him drop out as i'm saying at the next article and two others remember the next article say one person and two others injured after gun men rob a minimart in waterworks westmoreland on sunday afternoon the deceased has been identified as 54 year old tyan young ming otherwise called ken of petersfield in the parish reports from the white and police are that about 12 pm young ming 
was at his tour when armed men entered and demanding money. The armed robbers then reportedly opened fire at Young Ming and the other men before making their escape with cash and other items. The police were alerted and their arrival, all three men were seen with G-U-N-S-H-O-T wounds. They were taken to hospital where Young Min was pronounced and the others admitted investigations are ongoing. So remember them saying that the article, them don't know if them, the first article, them don't know if the man them take nothing. So the man them get money. You see me I say? And to the Chinese, them on a higher security bridging, higher security star. So we are going to move on people. Man accused of S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G at cops charge the manchester police have arrested and charged 29 year old jamar dawkins a resident from st paul's district accused of engaging in a shoot out with cops that left one man gone see him no there no more the incident happened on tuesday september 26 it is reported that about 12:45 p.m Lamen were in an unmarked service vehicle on an operation when they were attacked by Dawkins, his brother, and other accomplices who fired several SHOTS at them. The police returned fire, K I L L I N G, one of the armed men in the process. A firearm was taken from him, Dawkins, and the other men escaped. Later that day, Dawkins visited the Santa Cruz police to report of his brother being killed and his involvement in the SHOOTING when he was arrested. Following an interview session in the presence of his attorney, he was charged with five counts of shooting with intent, possession of a prohibited weapon, and authorized possession of ammunition. His court date has not been finalized and his accomplices are currently being sought by the police so people leave your comment in the comment section so we are going to move over to linstead you know seeing linstead businessman charged following armed robbery 38 year old marvin robinson a businessman from linstead saint catherine was arrested and charged after he and an accomplice allegedly robber truck driver before shooting and injuring him in august According to the police, about 1.15 p.m. on August 31, Robinson and another man held up and robbed a truck driver of about $35,000 while he was delivering goods. They also took his Isuzu motor truck. The armed men then opened gunfire, hitting the truck man before escaping. The police were alerted and the victim was taken to hospital where he was treated. Intense investigations led to Robinson's arrest. He was later charged with robbery with aggravation, wounding with intent, and the use of a prohibited weapon. His court date has not been finalized and his accomplice is currently being sought by the police.